Let's open up the model and take a look at the delete node pro, um, workflow. So we, we're going to click um, our hammer. We're going to click workflow, open up models. Here's your delete node. So we're going to open up and touch UI environment, click edit. Here we can see our model that we've created. So the first step is our um, is the workflow initiator. Um, step so this is going to assign an email to the admin so we'll open up this take a look the next one is delete node so it's going to delete the payload finally this is the process step this is our custom step so if we open this up we'll take a look under the process tab we can see my email custom step of course this is lining up with our Java under our um, process label so you can see here is my email custom step so this is very important to understand that the relationship between the process label and then what shows up underneath the pro uh, the process step what we want to do now is invoke this workflow so we're going to invoke it on the uh, French page for email workflow 64 so select this page click create select workflow select our model so we're going to look for delete node here it is give it a um, workflow title so we'll say delete node one click next select this and then click create so now our workflow has been invoked on this page so now we're going to select um, our messages here in the inbox go to step one this is of course the first step in our workflow so now we're going to click um, complete so that you notice in the next step it says delete node so we'll click OK so we go back to um, our sites so take a look here under email workflow notice the French page is gone and then so now we're going to look at our custom step here it is, it says this, mes this message is to inform you that the AM content has been deleted. So this is, shows that the workflow has successfully um, been executed and then our custom step has run and the message service gateway API step has done its job and sent the email.